Hey, it's Phil. Getting back into Pokemon XD. And we're gonna finish up with the Cypher base. Alright, let's check out the party. Ah uh, yeah, Numel. That is five of the six. Um, and it's going to be some time before we are able to get um, our sixth member. Uh, not too long, hopefully, but... Um, not quite yet, so we're gonna run with Baltoy for the time being. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, we're gonna put Numel into the party. So we can get her heart gauge. Uh, which is still full. Um, let me just check quickly to see if I have any more of the clone. I do. Uh, I'm going to use them both. These are permanent party members, so it's not a waste, that's for sure. Okay. And another. Nice. gonna look real quickly see how much it went down good bit all right just for decoration. Alright. Uh, more Cypher Goons. Wow. Still with terrible names. Uh, Numal... Dig. Numal doesn't have any fire moves yet, but, uh... They will come in handy. Uh-oh. Well... I said uh-oh uh with Sveal too, but uh... If anything, it's a positive. Um... I think call has priority, so... I'm gonna call before... yeah. Just wanted to make sure Umbreon didn't take out Snowrun first. Wow! Okay. Right on. These 
early game Shadow Pokémon are very easy to purify, but uh, I definitely remember some of the later ones taking a lot longer. Oh boy, lots of elevators happening. It's a good thing Crane is, uh, he's not talking, because, um, well, we saw what Shadow Lugia did at the beginning of the game, and apparently that's him not working properly, so we don't want to give them the chance. Oh, there's our fire move. In, uh, in the recent games, whenever um, a Pokémon uses Growl, it plays the sound of their actual cry. But in this game, it has just like a universal sound, and it's really goofy. Uh, Swablu has a lot of defense, I forgot. And it's lowering our attack, so that doesn't help. Oh wow. Counter. Hmm. <laughs> Dig won't affect Swap Blue because she's flying tight. Maybe Ember will do a little more damage. Corsola. <laughs> Snow uh bleached Galar Corsola. That thing is so awesome. Wow, I think we're gonna cap her off right here. Mm, I'm a little worried though, because water types are very dangerous for Numo. Nice! All the way down. I think I'm actually gonna run all the way back to Agate and purify her, because it looks like there's a good bit more to this dungeon, and uh, we want Numel to be able to level up. Uh, Dig should do the trick. Completely stiff. Also, when we were trying to catch Numel, uh, and I attempted to paralyze it and it didn't work, it's actually because Numel's ground type, not because of Shadow Pokemon. They can absolutely be paralyzed normally. Oh wow. She seems to be a bit weak. Or maybe it's just that Corsola has tons of defense. Get those levels. Okay.
Okay, back to back. Coffee. Lot of Gen 3. I'm actually going to switch Numal out because she's in danger right now. We're gonna get Flaffy in here. Flaffy has such a cute cry. Dustox is bug poison. I don't think it's flying type. And either way, Wingle is going to be decimated by electric because it's dual water flying. Distracted. Oh, is water type. Oh, dang, but synchronize. Oh, it doesn't work. You can't poison a poison type. One shot? Oh, uh, almost. And Pico flinch too. Okay. Yeah, same deal. levels. Sweet. Hopefully there's not a third scientist that I couldn't see. Item. Oh, that must be the poison. Oh, that's bad. Umbreon's taking damage. 
Uh, it was here, right? Well, I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, Umbreon's gonna faint. That sucks. just gonna go heal while I'm up there. Yeah, it's this way. Um, so since there's like a fair number of Pokemon, and I keep talking about how cool their animations are. I could have, like, uh, some more, like a reserve team kind of thing. Um, let me know if you guys are uh, interested in that at all. Uh, let me see what happens when I talk to them. Okay, I can battle them again if I need to. Yeah, so I usually like to play um, just with one party the whole game through, um, but that might not be as fun to watch, so I'm totally open to using more. This way. <laughs> almost just went to the Pokemon Center. Well, after all those completely <laughs> unnecessary runs. for the cutscene being absolutely furious at my computer. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to be able to capture it straight from my GameCube. Um, otherwise, I would be doing it that way. But Numel's purified now. Take down and charm. Hmm, charm's whatever for Numel. Take down's pretty good though. <laughs> no nicknames. All right, let's get out of this place. Not sure how much more is left to go, but that's fine. Uh, can I go in here? Is there anything interesting in here? No. Okay. The more floors they add, the harder it is to find my way around. There's a room in there that I can't get to yet. And of course that room. And there's an item in the room to the north. And a guide to battle too. Oh, three super potions. Okay. Although it doesn't look like there's anything past him. But it's fine, we should just battle anyway. Morbid. Every single name is terrible.
Wow, that was really strong. But Numel takes some damage. Yeah. Not that much, though. level up Numa, but she's constantly in danger. I believe Star use Water Psychic. It may not get Psychic until it evolves, but... Um, go for Dig. Because it at least makes Numa uh, not a target in between. Oh, okay. Not even going for a water move. Alright. Nice. if there's any point to this room. Doesn't look like it. Although, this was the room on the other side. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything here is interactable, so it was just for the battle. Kind of? Not a two. Uh, wait, no, I don't need to switch out. I think fire is still good. One shot. Realmer. Oh, it's so cute. Mm. Let's see how much this does. One shot, okay. Numel's close to a level. Uh, let's get Flaffy in here, take out Wilmer. And, uh. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll switch out Numel too. It was completely unnecessary. I could have just switched Numel instead of Umbreon, but... I think Numel's still gonna level up because she participated. Water gun. Yeah, it was a good call. That probably would have taken out Numel. It's the problem with certain dual types is uh, if both of their types share a weakness, then it's uh, four times effectiveness. But luckily we have Flaffy to take out any water types that might prove to be a problem.
Ooh. Bit of a halfway point. Oh, I got greedy. <laughs> I got greedy. Oh my, my chop looks weird in this. Maybe charm take it. Uh, my chops. Do what? That's a weird move for an Abra to have. Charm will take uh, Machop's attack down, since uh, fighting beats dark type. <laughs> Just mouth hanging open. And like I predicted, what? Why did it go for normal? That was weird. Uh. Bite the fish, I guess? Gee, I don't know. Wow. Oh. It wasn't even a water move. Yeah, I don't know. They're using some... Questionable attack. Another low kick. Ooh. That's not good. Who was it again? Feebass. Or. I guess we can get Baltoy down a bit. It's already down a lot. And it's got side beams so it can take up a job. That's what I was hoping for. And another fighting type. Good, good. Palto is a good choice. Oh, I've always loved how psychic type moves look in this. I usually run a Espeon as my EV. Um, but they're all pretty awesome, so it didn't really matter to me which one I picked. Yeah, it's not very effective. Okay. Hopefully this will finish him off anyway. Yes. Nice. Oh. <laughs> that like fall backwards into cowering pose is pretty great. Yes, please. Oh, okay. That was the whole purpose of this room. So then it's probably the elevator of the one... Um, to the left here? I went in that room last time. Yeah. Should be this way. Let's see what awaits. Big surprise. Carvana. I think that might be Shadow, actually. Carvana is another dual dark type. Yes, it is. 
there's a lot of dark types in Gen 3 because um, dark type is from Gen 2. So um, there weren't that many dark types in Gen 2. There was like Houndour, Houndoom, uh, Murkrow, and Umbreon. And I think Umbreon was originally going to be poison type anyway. So they're really... Oh, and Tyranitar, but there really are not a lot of dark types in Gen 2. So in 3, they made it a lot more common. <laughs> she gives that little look of like, uh, what did you just do? Oh, wow. Carvana's got rough skin, so any physical moves are going to damage me. Uh, so I'm going to use Flaffy to... Oh! I guess I wasn't paying attention. Must have used Shadow Hold. Ah, oh, oh well. You got a crit. Alright, it wasn't that much. And we got a level. Almost level 20. Numel's going up too. Side up. Oh. <laughs> That'll teach you. So many water types here. Can I switch to Flaffy now? Yes, I can. And I'll switch out Numel just in case. We'll let uh, Teddy or Sick catch up a little bit, because Umbreon's leveling like crazy. I don't know why I thought Flaffy evolved with the Thunderstone. I think I said that in one of the past videos. It's actually just a uh, level 30 Flaffy evolves. I always thought it was a Thunderstone. Oh, good hit. In fact, most of our party is going to be evolving around 30. Uh, Teddy Ursa's 30. Sphiel is... I want to say 32. And then again at, like, closer to 45. So Sphiel is a... a commitment, but it is very worth it. And, uh, thankfully it's not weak in its burst evolution by any means. There's some Pokemon like um, Dreepy in the new gen, which uh, I wanted to do a run through with, and it is not worth it, because until it evolves it's really, really sad. And it doesn't evolve until... Oh my, I killed Carvana. Oh well. Talk about distracted. Um, you actually do, later in the game, get a chance to get Shadow Pokemon you beat. So I will be doing that. Oh, it's a good punch. Gen Jigglypuff is just normal, so uh, any type will do the trick, besides Ghost. <laughs> that move is so weak. that 
defense. Just keep, keep chipping away. Chime echoes down. Another level. Nice. She's catching up. Dunspars. So weird. Uh, I always thought um, Dunsparce evolved into Gliger for some reason, because it's got... I think they're next to each other in the decks. Yeah, Dunsparce is right before Gliger in the decks. Um, so I thought it was like the first evolution. Um, because it's got like little stubby wings and like a spiky tail. And like the little spikes on its chin could maybe be like Gliger's ear things. I don't know, it didn't really make any sense, but I, I thought that for a while when I was little. But it's like, no, Dunsparce doesn't evolve, it's just kind of there. Like, why does it even have wings then? I don't know. I like it though. Oh wow. It's pretty physically strong too. And angry. Couldn't tell by looking at it. someone. I'm just barreling through all of these guys though. My team is very formidable. That looks like progress. Um, I'm gonna head back to that that room, I think. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm getting confused with directions now. It was the elevator up and to the right, I believe. There's two of them. I hope it's this one. <laughs> yeah. At least it looks like they're spatially connected. Okay. Not bad. Uh, gonna save here. Wow. <laughs> and now the music's happy again. Okay then, that'll be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.